Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Pioneer RL250. This is a rear living couples model. You have a big super slide over here, decent sized kitchen and two recliners in the back. Let's start off on the kitchen. We'll talk a little bit about it here. You'll see right here is your fridge freezer combo. Plenty of space in there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. You have the microwave right next door to that with the hood underneath. As you would expect underneath that hood is your cooktop. It's a recessed cooktop with a glass cover. You can just fold that up and back. It doubles as a backsplash. That'll open up your three burners there. And then you also have an oven underneath if you want to do some baking. Over to this side here, you'll see a little bit of storage right there. If you, know, you might be able to sneak a really small trash can in there. You have the cutout here maybe for some spices, something like that. And then right around the corner, you have a bank of three full extension ball bearing drawers. So you have room for your flatware, some of your other utensils, as well as towels or something else you want to put in there. Double bowl stainless steel sink right here. So in big bowls, you have the high-rise faucet as well, making washing and rinsing dishes a little bit easier. Yeah, you get the decorative backsplash in there with the window right above it, LED lights, and then additional storage right here up top. Two recliners in the back of this floor plan, which are great. This will obviously be the, you know, probably preferable spot the two of you can sit. You know, if you want to read a book or if you want to watch TV, you are able to do that from right here. Although it is a little bit of a ways in this floor plan to the TV. So uh, that, that part's a little bit tougher from these seats, but they are great to just sit and read or enjoy the view out the big rear picture window. That's one of the great things about this floor plan is if you have a beautiful view out the back, you can certainly enjoy it. As I mentioned, both of these do recline so you can lean back and relax. You have the uh, kind of end table there right in the center, electrical outlets behind the chair so you can plug in your electronics as well, and windows on the side with storage going across the top. If we take a look at the super slide right here, is a jackknife sofa so this is great drops down into a bed you get a little bit of additional sleeping space also another spot for guests to be able to sit and hang out the best part about a jackknife sofa though folks is all the storage you get underneath a ton of storage there for some of your larger items window right above it additional storage above that too moving over a little bit is the u-shaped dinette now even though it'll probably just be two of you in here the majority of the time the great thing about this is if you have a guest, whether it's friends, family, everyone can sit right around here and have a meal together. It's a very large table, which a lot of times you don't get in a U dinette. Even though you know it's a U shape, the table will be really small. You can only fit like two to three plates on it, making it almost useless. Not the case at all here. Plus, this does drop down into a bed, and the U dinette is large enough that if you have adults that want to stay the night, you can easily and comfortably sleep two adults right here on that U dinette. Right up front, this is where the TV would be if you so choose to have one installed. You can see the multimedia center right underneath there as well. Uh, that does control your speakers and is Bluetooth capable. You'll also notice a little bit of storage underneath and you have some additional storage right up top. Over here is the bathroom. Take a look inside here real quick. You have the foot flush lever toilet here. Take a seat on there. You'll see I have plenty of leg room. As far as the shoulders, it's not too bad either. You know, I'm bumping a little bit on both sides, but honestly, it's not bad at all. It's a lot bigger than what you get uh, in several other travel trailers uh, with this size bathroom. You'll also see that you have the sink over here, a little bit of storage underneath that, mirrored medicine cabinet right up top, and then a good size shower. You can see that, you know, I can actually turn around in here. You can move. Again, uh, not very often do you get that. A lot of times you feel really closed in. It is a curved uh, shower rod here for your curtain, so that way, again, it gives you a little more space to turn around. As far as ceiling height, I am six foot. You can see I'm just about touching the ceiling, so if you're taller than that, you know, six one, six two, you may have to bend down just a little. Hand wand here, and then shelves running along the side. The bedroom in the RL250 features a queen size bed with good storage underneath. It's easy to access there, and it is a large storage space. Both sides also have nightstands that are very big, and they have an electrical outlet, so if you need to plug in a CPAP machine or cell phone at night, you have the capability to do that. Directly above is your mirrored wardrobe. You can see the hanging rod there, and more storage going all the way across the top. You'll also see directly behind me is a second entry door, so that way if you do have guests sleeping on the U-Dinette, you can enter and exit the camper without disturbing them. 
And on the other side, you will notice your TV hookups right up top. So if you want a TV in the bedroom, that is where you will install it. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Pioneer RL250. Right up front is a power tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle because all you have to do is flip a switch to raise and lower the tongue. There's also a light on there for added visibility at night. Directly behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover and you see rails right here for your battery. Coming up the front is diamond plating to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And when you come around to this side, you will notice the pass-through storage. It has a covered hinge on here, so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. And it uses a better key system. It's not a 751 key. The key is unique to this RV, so that way people can't just come and uh, take stuff out of your pass-through. If you open it up and take a look in there though, you'll see that it is completely finished off. It is also a complete pass-through, meaning that it's the same size door on both sides. And right up here on the wall, you will see the power stabilizer jack controls. This one has the power stabilizer jack. So again, very similar to the tongue jack. You just hold a rocker switch and your uh, stabilizer jacks will come down. One control controls the front two, the other control will operate the rear two. This is the secondary entrance. This is the one into the bedroom I had showed you. Three foldable steps with a grab handle here. And if you take a look up above, you have the power awning. It does span over both doors, which is nice. That way if it is raining out and your awning is out, it'll keep you a little bit drier when you're entering or exiting the RV. And then you'll also see that you have the LED light strip on there for light at night. Two outside speakers here. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside. But as I mentioned, that is Bluetooth capable. So that way you can sit right out here and connect to that uh, with your smart device via, via Bluetooth. If you want an outside TV, this is where you will hook it up at. You see the cable outlet as well as an electrical outlet there. And your fresh water inlet is right next to it. So if you're going somewhere where you don't have water hookup, you want to make sure you fill your fresh water tank. That'll be the spot to do it at. This is the primary entrance. Enters right into that living room. Again, three foldable steps with the larger foldable grab handle here. Because you will be using this one more often, the upgrade the grab handle just helps give you a little more control when entering or exiting the RV. Right here in the back, if we drop down, you will see the propane quick connect. So if you want to do some grilling outside, that will allow you to do it. Just take your grill, pop it in right there. It'll feed off the two 20-pound bottles up front. You have the square tubular bumper with an end cap, so that way you have a convenient spot to store your sewer hose. Just pop that end cap off, slide it right in there. Then you'll also see the cargo rack. This is awesome, folks. This is a 200 pound weight capacity on here. So you can drop this down. You can carry wood, uh, coolers, totes, whatever else you need. And if you want, when you get to your campsite, you can kind of use it as like a secondary table, which is pretty cool. Spare tires on there as well. So, uh, you know, hopefully you never have to use that. But if you do, it's very easy to access. You don't have to get down on your hands and knees or get underneath the camper. And if you take a look up above that big rear picture window, you will notice this one has backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. On the off door side, you'll see the black tank flush right up front here. This is great because instead of having to stick a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank, you just hook it up right here. That black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. City water inlet is right behind that. And underneath both of those is your outside shower with the hand wand. Last thing I want to touch on is your electric. You see this one has a 30 amp detachable power cord and plugs in right here in front of the slide. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Pioneer RL250. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.